Hey Slayers, welcome back to Plus Size Rides of Hall. I'm coming to you guys with a hair video. It's not really a tutorial, it's more like me explaining to you the products that I use for my hair. Make sure you smash that like button. I want to see you guys go crazy. If you viewed it, like it. Um, what are your favorite oils that you use? I've been getting a lot of questions about what I use and how my hair has grown so fast and blase blase. So I thought I would take the time out to <clears throat> make a video to let y'all guys know what the hell I use. Okay, so, it's not really much to it. I don't use a lot of stuff because I really, to be honest, I'm still trying to figure out what the hell I'm supposed to use. But, so far, so good. So far, so good. It's been about four to five months since I've cut my hair down to, like, bull eagle status. Shape up, everything. Like, right now I have a shape up, but I have curls, so it really works out. But I had a shape up, I had no hair. I was, like, a brand new person. And I wouldn't say this is my second big chop because my first big chop didn't... I kind of figured, you know, when you bleach your hair and you're like, okay, well, I'll never bleach my hair again. I'm going to cut it off and I'm going to do this. I bleached it again. So, I'm not cutting my hair again. That's it. Okay. Now, I want to start by saying, which is something, if you're natural, you want to know the porosity of your hair. You want to know what type of hair you have because that is a big, big influence on the products that you're going to buy for your hair. So, for example, I have 4C, low porosity hair, which means that I have kinky coily hair. So, my hair strands are, like, pretty coily, really tight curls. And I have really bad, like, shrinkage. And porosity is your hair's ability to absorb moisture. And it's basically broken down into three categories. You're either low porosity, um, normal, or high. I'm low, which means my hair doesn't really retain moisture. So, my hair gets really, really dry sucks um there's a couple of tests that you can do to real i guess i'm gonna say realize but there's a couple of tests that you can do to find out your the porosity of your hair um i can make a video on that if you want drop a link below drop drop a link drop a comment below let me know if you want me to make a video on how to figure out your hair porosity i've done all these tests and they actually do work so you guys let me know that um also I want to say, since I do have color in my hair, it's a lot different because I really have to make sure that my hair is moisturized. If my hair is not moisturized, my hair will break off even more than it would break off without my hair being colored. Let me jump into the video now. So, what I use, I'm going to start with my shampoo and what I usually do um, if, for example, my hair is really packed on and it feels like really heavy like it has a lot of product in it what i'll do is i'll take a clarifying shampoo and my favorite one is from vo5 it's actually the kiwi lime squeeze this smells so good and it only costs like i want to say two dollars um i use this maybe once a week i'm lying you're supposed to use it like once a week but i use it maybe every time i get a shower because i don't like when my hair has all that product my my curls don't bounce how they're supposed to i don't like it but like I said, we're starting the week. So, with the start of the week, you want to have your VO5, clarifying shampoo, whatever shampoo you consider. And then, I found my holy grail shit. <laughs> Roddy was having a sale on Shea Moisture. And I was like in these groups on Facebook, and they were like, oh, Shea Moisture is the shit, you should try it. I did my research, and I found that the Superfruit Complex 10-in-1, it looks like this, um... The Superfruit Complex 10-in-1 Renewal System Hair Mask is really, really fucking good. You're supposed to keep it on your hair for a good five, three to five minutes, I want to say. I keep it on for 15 because you always want to make sure it's, like, in there. And then um, you wash it out. I mix it sometimes with my other conditioners, which is another VO5, because I found VO5 to be very good as leave-in conditioners, especially the coconut one. Really, really good for your hair. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, I use the hair mask. And then once I'm out of the shower, my hair, and remember that you want to, if you have low porosity hair, you want to, the last rinse when you're getting out of the shower is to be hot water. As hot as you can take it. Like, I'll turn the shower all the way to hot. Let the heat touch my hair. And then my hair gets really, really curly. Get out the shower. Boom. Before your hair dries, I have a bottle of a spray bottle which contains a little bit of um I, what is it mango butter leave-in conditioner 
I also have in here some jojoba oil, some coconut oil, some olive oil, some leave-in conditioner from Cantu. I have a couple of things in here. And this is just to make sure that my hair is getting the nutrients that the clarifying shampoo strips from my hair. Then, after we do this, you want to spray it down. You want to damp it. You don't want to go crazy because it is a lot of shit in this bottle. Then I grab my Cantu. And as y'all can see, this is my favorite because it's about to run out. And I get it from Family Dollar for $6. $6 for this big ass shit. And I had this for a couple of months now. So, when my hair started growing, I bought this. And look how much I have. And I use it every single day. So, you want to get the, the Cantu Shape Butter Leave-In Conditioner. My opinion on it, as I said, it's really good. It's not really heavy, but when you do use it, you want to work it into your hands first. And you don't want to really use too much. If you don't want your hair to be white and creamy, you have to wait for it to sat to really get in your hair. But I used to do that. I used to saturate, and then I'll have to be like, oh my God, put the towel. You don't have to go through that. Next, after I use my leave-in conditioner, I do go back in with my spray, a little bit of water, just to make sure my hair is still damp because this does absorb a little bit of moisture from your hair. I go in with my Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl Enhancing with Smoothie. No. Curly Hansen Smoothie with Silk Protein and Neem Oil. It's for thick, curly hair. Anti-frizz, moisturizing, and shine. This is what it looks like. I actually got this on sale at Riley, like I was saying before. I got one, buy one, get one free. So I got buy one, get one free. So you know I was on that. Um, this is really good. It. This is what makes my curls pop. I was using... Um, Dr. Miracle's Cream A, Moisturizing Cream A from Family Dollar. It was good. I want to say it was good. But it left my hair with these little white things. I wasn't feeling it. So I did my reviews on this and I did my research on this. And I found this to be really good for low porosity hair. Regardless of low porosity, high porosity, I feel like this would be really good. It's not heavy on my hair. And I literally, when they say dime size, literally you need a dime size goes a long way goes a long way for real like let me emphasize how much this this goes a long way you want to take a little bit rub it in your hands like i said with the cancel get that in there smack it on your hair work it in you know whatever you have to do to make your curls pop i usually work this way let them get into my fingers then i use my fingertips because my hair isn't really it's still twa status so it's not really much to do to it now that we have that done, we want to go in with our oils. The oils that I use are, first I like to go in, because some oils are used as more of a sealant because they're thicker, and some are used more as hydration, I want to say. <laughs> so first I start with my jojoba oil. I take a boop, boop, two, two little drops of jojoba, jojoba oil. Work it into my hands, set it into my hair. Then I grab my coconut oil because it's not as heavy as the next oil that I'm gonna speak on, and I rub it in my hands. Same process. Next, I want to speak on my heavier oils, and then I want to speak on my holy gray oil. My heaviest oil would be my well, not my heaviest, but uh, my heavier oil, which I use to lock in for moisturizing to lock in my sealant. As a lock in sealant, I um, use my olive oil. And this one I got for a dollar. It doesn't really matter which one you use. Some people use the one from the kitchen. I decided to get the tool because it's easier. And it's easy to put into my hair. Rub it into your hands. Same process. Now. I've discovered this maybe a month ago. I want to say a month ago, right? So, I started using the Wow Growth Hair Oil. And I want to say this is a blessing. People have come to me like, your hair is growing so fast. Oh my God, what's going on? This is the shit. Get you some. I use this to lock everything in. It gives me awesome shine. I've been using it on my edges. I've been using it on the back of my hair. My hair is actually, I just got a shape up a week ago. And my hair is growing back. Extremely fast. Like stubble for real. Um... Last thing I do is, that's, 
this is of your choice you know not everybody decides they want to use because this gel does break some people's hair off it does not break mine so i use it and it's really good on my edges it holds pretty good you know what i'm saying it holds pretty good i want to say it holds like yeah i just if you sweat it but it holds pretty good the black um pro style gel this is my favorite holy grail gel i love this stitch i even sometimes rub it in my hands and and it makes my curls pop Lastly, the only tool that I, ew, the only tool that I use in my hair is a pick. I use either pick or fingers. You will not see me using a brush. I'm lying. Only brush I use is a toothbrush, and that's to do my edges. But you will not see me use any other tool other than this black pick right here. You do not want to put too much tension in your hair, especially when you're natural. And I've learned that. Um. I don't need a brush. I don't need... Oh, another thing. I forgot to tell y'all. I'm going through it today. I do not use heat on my hair. If it's not moisture heat, I want to say. Like, if it's not a damp towel or if it's not hot water. Um, no flat irons. No blow dryers. None of that since I've cut my hair. So, in five months, I have not used none of these tools. At all. My hair is 0% heat damage. It's been like, all my life, I have never had heat damage, not heat damage hair. It's color damaged, but it's not heat damaged. <clears throat> Alright, y'all, so I just, I don't really know how to, awk I don't want to awkwardly end this, but drop some of your favorite natural hair um, products that you guys use down below. Yeah, just let me know what are some of you guys' favorite um, things to use on your hair. I would love to hear. Thanks for watching again. Love is love. See you guys later.